Today I'm going to replace primary fuel filter on 6.0 power stroke diesel. Let's get started. Primary fuel filter is located under the driver's door on the frame rail and that is our filter. As you can see there is a module, that module called horizontal fuel conditioning module and on the side of that module you see that brass plug we have to remove it to drain the fuel okay six mil allen wrench let's undo that plug and drain all fuel out also guys i have a video how to replace secondary fuel filter which is under the hood video will be down in the description below okay we're draining our fuel mixed with some moisture get drain bucket or tub ready underneath okay everything's drained let's put a plug back if this video is helpful guys thumbs up thank you so much for doing that okay drain plug is in place and it's tight and now we can go to the filter housing and remove that cap and uh, yeah if you have any questions put them down in the comment section below all right i'm going to clean that area around the filter cap it's dirty because it's located under the truck and before we'll start taking it apart let's just use a brake clean and clean up a little bit and wipe it everything with the rug less dirt We'll have chances to get in. Always try to keep everything clean. All right, I'm using 36 mil socket. Broke it loose. Little bit of fuel will come out, but we have a bucket underneath to catch the fuel. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Very appreciated that. And uh, as you can see, cap is off, and that is primary fuel filter. And how often? Uh, I usually replace it every 10,000 miles, something like that. And uh, yeah, let's pull it out. And uh, primary fuel filter is out, and it's a perfect time to compare old one with the new one we are going to install. And as you can see, this primary filter is pretty dirty. And actually, truck had some performance issues under the load. And remember, filters that are cheap, they're not expensive. But if you're going to repair your fuel system on power stroke diesels, they're pretty pricey. Just do filters regularly. Okay, new filter came with a new rubber o-ring, which we're going to replace. And let's put our filter in, insert it, make sure it fits properly. And yeah, it should be seated only in one position okay let's remove our o-ring from the cap this old one let's do some cleanup as you can see it's pretty dirty looking i'm just going to use a brake clean to clean that filter housing plastic cap yeah never assemble dirty parts do the cleanup put everything back together when it's clean okay i'm using just paper towel just clean it that brake clean let's wash it inside as well make sure there's nothing there it should be clean and dump it that brake clean and wipe it and that we know our parts are good to be installed and i'm also going to replace that rubber o-ring i got it in make sure it's not twisted it should fit in that groove evenly and let's apply some diesel fuel to the new o-ring pretty much straightforward it's not that difficult and now we have everything's ready I'm going under the truck as you can see filter there it all will go in one position make sure it's seated properly let's start our filter cap by hand and then start tightening i'm helping with the pay with the towel and then we're going and tighten it with a wrench don't over tighten it it's so easy to do it just go tight and uh, 
yeah, according to the specs, roughly around 19, 20 foot pounds of torque. Pretty easy. There's the specs, by the way, on a cap. And uh, yeah, let's wipe everything. And guys, I have a video. Check down in the description how to bleed the air from the fuel system. Thank you so much for your time watching this video. And uh, yeah, take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.